the players come out to a round of applause from the fans here at the EBB Stadium. So quickly as we run through the starting lineups just before kickoff, shot starting Van Staffersuff in goal, Kobe Rowe, Haji Minoga, and Kian Harry's a back three with Aaron Jones and Ollie Harfield playing as wing backs, Tyler Frost and Ryan Glover coming in for O'Keefe in midfield with Josh Stokes at number 10. Laurent Tolage and Jack Barham up front. It's a bit of a hoodoo around former Aldershot players scoring at this ground, Steve, as we as we just kick off. There is, yeah. I, th I think I mean, any team in football will tell you that former players come back to haunt them. But uh, yeah, I mean, Tavon Campbell, I don't think Aldershot Town saw the best of him last season. It's a nice clear day here in Surrey. We feared the rain might uh, come down as Wheelstone play it forward now. And it's with their striker. Oh, and Van Stappershoff goes down. He's round the keeper. Oh, and he's missed over to the left-hand side. And Tavon Campbell it was for Wealdstone. Had a glorious opportunity, but put it wide of the left post after Van Stappershoff fluffed his lines there. He got all the way round Jordi Van Stappershoff and had his chance cleared off the line by Aldershot. The resulting corner made another chance for Obiero as well for Wealdstone, but still currently Aldershot nil, Wealdstone nil. And here's the goal, a shot coming from Jack Barham and his effort is tipped over the bar by Mundell Smith. And just as we were giving that update, Aldershot took the ball all the way down and Barham with a really promising effort. Still with Aldershot here, they're on the left-hand side. Harfield making a run towards the penalty area, but it's gone infield now midway through the Wheelstone half with Tyler Frost and now right to Aaron Jones. Josh Stokes approaching the byline on the right-hand side and he puts it back into Barham and Barham missed the kick altogether, there was a slight deflection there from the Wheelstone defence, but it took it just away from Jack Barham. So momentum swinging a bit back and forth in this first half in the game. Both sides have had moments, both sides have created chances, had some dangerous set pieces and corners as Aldershot, lovely one-two there between, between Glover and Tolash, and Glover goes for goal himself, and it's in! Oh, and that's a howler of an error from Jed Ward in the Wheelstone goal. Glover took a 1-2 from Tolage and drove in from the left-hand side, took the shot with the right-hand boot, and what a howler from Jed Ward there. It's all the shot one, Wheelstone nil. Personal excellent start. He's worked really hard in an unfamiliar role, been asked to do unfamiliar things for the team but he broke forward there excellently in a more familiar role down that left flank. Got it back from Laurent Tolage. I thought it was a bit of a waste of a cross, to be honest, but unfortunately it's another error from, uh, uh, from the uh, Wheelstone goalkeeper Jed Ward. Able to really keep it for long, and Alex Dyer cut out again there by Kean Harries, and so Josh Stokes will play in Barham down the right-hand side. He's in a ton of space, approach to the edge of the penalty area, off the post! And where has it gone here? Cleared off the line. All the shot town finishing this half the stronger. We've hit the post as well from Jack Barham. So plenty of action here. It's all the shot one, Wildstone nil. And here is Van Stappersoff who has cleared up the danger after Tavon Campbell made a run in behind for Wildstone. Wildstone have won it back here and it's Campbell versus the keeper. Great save by Jordi Van Stappersoff and it was given away cheaply there by Aldershot and it lets Tavon Campbell, their former player, right in on goal and he only had the keeper to beat. For Jed Ward and they're playing out from the back and so Aldershot Town lining up with Jordi Van Stappersoff, a back three of Kobe Rowe, Haji Minoga and Kian Harries. Midfield, Frost, Ryan Glover as he's... Oh and there's been a, a, a foul here, sorry to interrupt myself giving the, the team lineups but Wheelstone have won a foul just outside the Aldershot penalty area. Clearing it out wide for a Wildstone throw, taken quickly by Taran Alarakio on the far side as we look at it, the Wildstone left. And uh, here's Jaden Mundell Smith firing it into the penalty area, but it's just not quite the quality that Wildstone looked for, and it's now on the counter with all the shot town as Stokes plays in Barham. It's him versus the keeper. What a save from Jed Ward, and Barham was in there for all the shot town. He tries to put it into the penalty area for Campbell, but Minoga easily deals with that one. He comes away, he's driving forward all the way from centre back here, Minoga, finding Tolage five yards into, into the Wheelstone half, infield into acres of space, and he's put it forward towards Stokes inside the penalty area. He knees it down. Was he brought down there by the Wheelstone defender? And again, the referee not blowing for a foul. He's certainly been on the lenient side this afternoon, the referee, in terms of letting the game flow, not calling many free kicks for stoppages that you might see other referees blow for. 
It's now back with Claydon, who's playing on the right-hand side now for Wildstone. And Van Stappershoff with a mistake of his own here. And Campbell couldn't put it away. And Van Stappershoff recovered well after the ball slipped out of his hands as well. We've seen those at both ends now. To get him a little bit out of trouble, but his handling should be better than that. And then Obiero set himself, was able to aim for that far corner. And all the shot now are through on goal for Barham. Oh, great save again from Jed Ward. Will he be recovered by Stokes? Yes, he will! And it's 2-0 to Aldershot Town as Barham was put through on goal. The keeper could only deflect it into the path of Josh Stokes. And Aldershot have doubled their advantage. Huge goal in this key National League fixture. And Wildstone may be looking at their first defeat for the season. It's all a shot too, Wildstone nil. Yeah, on such small margins, a game's decided. Wildstone could have been level. All the shot could have been 2-0 up a couple of minutes ago. It's with Alarakia in his yellow and blue Stones kit. Here's Cook, the captain for Wildstone. Out now wide to Claydon, just below us, and his ball... Lovely ball inside to find Alarakia on his left foot, cutting inside the penalty area towards Ferguson. Arnie oh, couldn't control it, and Van Staffersov did just enough, and then cleared by Minoga. Yeah, it was a good layoff from Adarkwu, and Clayton almost ghosted into the penalty area. I don't think anyone had picked up his run from the flank inside, angled inside towards the penalty area, but in the end, it was a bit of a weak finish. Oh, and lovely play from Tolaj, who puts Josh Stokes through, and can he put it, make it three? Yes, he can! Josh Stokes! Man of the match performance, no doubt about it. He scored his second goal of the game and his third goal of the season through the legs of Wildstone's keeper, Jed Ward. Beautiful football from the shots. And it's all a shot three, Wildstone nil. That very much should be game over and a fantastic, fantastic interplay between Tolage and Stokes. And so changes uh, coming a plenty on both sides here in this National League fixture but the game looked to be put to bed after Josh Stokes there scoring his second of the game to make it Aldershot 3, Wildstone 0 and now Wildstone coming forward again through Claydon infield to Dyer, back to Claydon Ferguson plays him through and will he get the goal? Yes they will and was it offside there against Sean Adarqua? no flag raised and so they've got a goal back here to Wildstone what a quick response from the side from Northwest London. Aldershot appealing desperately for an offside call there because Adarqua had run beyond Charlie Claydon, but the referee not giving it. And so it's Aldershot three, Wildstone one. There's Alarakia now on the right hand side, or rather left for Wildstone, plays it across. The cross has too much on it though, and Charlie Claydon will have to stop it from going out for a throw in on the Wildstone right flank. Into the penalty area, Ferguson flicked back to. Charlie Claydon, it, oh, it's curled effort and it's just wide. I so think it was Van Stappers who've got a, a, the slightest fingertip touch ah, to so tip it around yeah, the Save from Van Stappershoff, it was a, a lovely curling effort there from Claydon who had received the ball back and the corner comes in now towards Cook. Headed up and away by, by Wildstone and, and it's cleared off the line. Wildstone can't put it in the net. Claydon now in field to Cook for Wildstone. This surely has to be the last play of the half. Obiero to the byline. Back to Ferguson, edge of the penalty area. Wide right to Claydon on his left foot. Cutting inside, will he know? He'll take on Harry's in by Ashley Charles, headed away by Harry's again. And so the full time whistle goes. And the Aldershot fans stand in applause. Jubilation after, after a second home win here in the National League season. It was heartbreak last week when York City equalised in the 93rd minute, but they've turned it around today. A much better result for the shots, and it finishes all the shot three, Wildstone one.